Hello all. In this video, let us try to understand what is shell. Generally, whenever we are working on Linux machines, we come across this term called as shell. Shell is a very simple program that takes keyboard commands and passes them on to the kernel or operating system to carry out. Almost every Linux distribution gives out a shell for you. The most popular one is bash. The most popular one is bash. So we also come across one more uh, term which is called as terminal. Which is called as terminal. Terminal is nothing but a program which allows us to interact with shell. Generally in Linux there are two kinds of distributions. One which have a GUI and what which do not have a GUI. So especially whenever you are interacting from your GUI based operating system to a Linux shell you need to use a program called as terminal. So right now I am on my Windows machine and I want to interact with a Linux machine. So I cannot interact it directly I need a terminal. So over here we have two things to understand. If you are using a Windows machine, then you need to install terminals to interact with Linux shell. However, if you are using latest version of Windows and if you are up to date, Windows 10 basically has an inbuilt terminal which is called as PowerShell which you can use to interact with shell. You don't need to install any extra softwares. But there are lot of softwares available which can act as terminal for you. So there is something called as git bash. There is something called as putty. Right? There is something called as sigwin. But throughout this series, I'll be using git bash. Throughout this series, I'll be using git bash. And installing a git bash is very simple. Just open your browser and search for git for windows. And are you seeing this download option? You can basically go to download directly and download this software and install it. Okay. So in this video, I am not showing how to install because it is pretty much straightforward. Right now, I have connected to one Linux machine using the git bash. If I want to connect to the same machine using PowerShell, I can do it on my system because I have a latest version of Windows 10 with all the necessary updates installed. So now. I have this SSH inbuilt capabilities. So I can use my PowerShell terminal as a terminal to connect to the Windows machine which was not possible earlier. Once you launch your terminal and connect to a Linux machine, this screen or this view whatever you are seeing is basically called as shell prompt. In this shell prompt, generally you would see username at the rate IP address and then you would see a dollar symbol so this is basically a shell prompt okay and sometimes you might see a prompt with hash symbol there is a dollar symbol over here and there is a hash symbol over here so these two also signify something important so whenever you see a hash mark that means that in this terminal you are connected as a super user you have administrative privileges once you don't want this you can typically sorry you can execute exit command and if you see right now my prompt is showing a dollar symbol which means I am a normal user so prompt also tells us whether we are normal users or administrative users right and in this prompt, let us execute some uh, basic commands. I type some something. Okay. It says command is not found. 
okay so generally linux distributions comes up with commands and if the command is found they will execute it if the command is not found you would see an error message like what you are seeing right now and one more thing which you can do with this linux shell prompt is you can search for history use the up arrow key to navigate to your commands which you have typed and if you see you are seeing a whole lot of commands which i have executed okay up arrow key will take you to older point in time and the down arrow key will help you in basically coming back to the recent times so let us try very simple commands i will try a command which can help me in showing a calendar i'll type it as cal so right now this is trying to tell that today is 25th okay similarly if i want to basically look at date i can execute a command called as date which basically shows me date as well as time so let me show you one more interesting command that command is to find out what is the free usage right what is the free space available on my disk okay and now there is one more interesting command which is called as free this will tell us about how much of memory is free okay now on this shell prompt you can execute commands in this session my intention is not to show you what these commands are basically meant for but my intention is you can execute the commands over here in the shell prompt and just understand the significance of dollar and hash we will have a look at commands also but as of now just focus on this shell shell prompt terminal dollar and hash if you understand all of this the basic objective of this session is met thanks thanks for watching for more videos subscribe our channel and click on bell icon